Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. I want to ask you about your quote from 2008. Uh, somehow we have to figure out how to boost the price of gasoline to the levels in Europe. Was there a specific country in Europe that you wanted to emulate, or would you have settled for a continent-wide average? Well, as I said repeatedly, uh, since I became Secretary of Energy, um, that uh, was no longer my goal. That was no longer what I had to do as a government servant. I understand that. Uh, you made that uh, comment uh, a few months before you were sworn in as Secretary of Energy, and I assume you meant it at the time you said it, or you would not have said it. What you have known for a long time, and the President has known of late, is I never say anything I don't mean, and sometimes I say things I mean I shouldn't say. And I assume you meant it at the time you said it, or you would not have said it. Um, my duties as uh, Secretary of Energy and my duties to serve the administration uh, uh, take on uh, different aspects. And so when I became Secretary of Energy, uh, I knew what I had to do. And, and I, for the I, good, and especially since we ended up going to this free-fall recession. I, I understand that, but, but I also want to understand what you meant by that comment, which was just a few months before you were sworn in. So when you said somehow we have to figure out a way, who's the we? Somehow we have to figure out. Uh, again, I'd rather uh, dwell on what my record has been in the department since I became a public servant. Uh, Mr. Secretary, when you said somehow we have to figure out a way to boost, the word boost um, has a, a specific meaning. It doesn't mean to, to, to let elevate. I mean, boost is, is intentional. What did you mean by the, by the use of the word boost? I'm, I'm not sure I said boost, but, uh, 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 but it, as I said, uh, it's what word, now... What, what word would you have substituted? Well, as I said, it's now uh, irrelevant uh, in my present job. Do you know what the average price of a gallon of gasoline was in Europe when you made that comment? Uh, uh, about $8 a gallon. What I'm trying to figure out, it, 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 these were not the musings of a misspent youth. Uh, this wasn't a private diary that somebody got their hands on. This was a public comment that you made months before you were sworn in. Somehow we have to figure out how to boost the price of gasoline to the levels in Europe. And other quotes you made contemporaneous with that suggest that the reason for that is to shrink demand for environmental concerns. So the notion that we have pivoted because we're in a recession, that doesn't impact the environmental concerns and why you initially advocated for higher gas prices in the first place, does it? Well, I think you've made uh, some logical leaps there, but let me just say that... Well, then uh, let me ask you, why did you advocate for higher gas prices in 2008? I have nothing more to add to that quote. You had a colloquy with one of my colleagues where you all agreed that uh, this is a worldwide commodity with prices that are set by market pressures. So uh, I think it's fair to ask, assuming that, how would you boost the price of gasoline? If it's set by the market, how would you do it? Would the gentleman yield for just one second? Sure. Mr. Secretary Chu, did you support cap and trade by this administration? I did. And that would necessarily increase dramatically the cost of carbon, including gasoline, correct? Well, uh, I think the estimate of the cost of gasoline was, uh, I think, about 30 cents, I've, I've, uh, something like that. Uh, thank, thank you for yielding. I, I'm not trying to cross-examine what you said in 2008. I, I'm trying to figure out, I, I assume that you meant it at the time you said it. And I assume, uh, because you are a thoughtful, precise person, that you would put some thought into it before you said it. And I'm just trying to understand why you felt that way in 2008. We keep returning. I, I really have nothing more to add. I'm just I, I'm wondering how a 30-second swearing-in ceremony could have caused someone to pivot from advocating for European-level gas prices to now doing everything within his power to lower gas prices. That, that, that just strikes me as being a fair question. As difficult as this is for consumers right now, is in fact high gas prices what we need to let the market work align incentives so that we do shift to alternative means of energy? Is in fact high gas prices what we need to let the market work align incentives so that we do shift to alternative means of energy? So could these so, high prices help us? 
I think that I would have preferred a gradual adjustment. Now, let me just, just ask one, one basic question. In an earlier hearing, you gave yourself an A minus. In weatherization, do you give yourself an A minus? Uh, actually, I do. Um, okay. In, uh, in uh, controlling the, uh, the cost of gasoline at the pump, do you give yourself an A minus? Well, we, the tools we have at our disposal are limited, but um, I would say I would give myself a little higher in that since I became a Secretary of Energy, I have been doing everything I can to, to get long-term solutions. What grade would you give yourself for this year? Um, good solid B+. Plus. A B+. Plus. Yeah. In uh, controlling the, uh, the cost of gasoline at the pump, do you give yourself an A-? minus? Well, we, the tools we have at our disposal are limited, but um, I would say I would give myself a little higher. Um, good solid B+. Plus. A B+. Plus. Yeah.